Hello, so this is our new um, method of accepting responses, such as a project. So this time round, we are not going to create any document and send it to your group and create a link, a Google form where we'll be receiving the inputs. But then this time around, you are going to work out the inputs online. So we'll give you a link such as this. It's hackerrank.com and um, whatever that follows. So you click on the link. Then you see this page. So the name of the um, competition is Justify Your Inclusion. But the one you'll be using, the one we'll be using for our bootcamp is going to be called uh, bootcamp, uh, Python Bootcamp 3.0. Okay, then whatever is here, you see it. So sign up, okay, and this shows the time remaining for the bootcamp to end or for the project to end, okay. So currently you can see 2 hours, 19 minutes, 54 seconds, okay. So this is just a demo. So I'm just demonstrating it to you. It's not the real project. So once you get to this page, you click on sign up. Now, if you don't have an account, it's going to bring you to this page. Okay. If you don't have an account, so you can enter in your name. Let's say Ujam. Then your email. So let's say uh, exe software. Exe software dot ink at gmail.com at gmail.com then your password okay first name and last name okay so that being said say so you click on agree to hacker ranks terms and terms of service then you click on what create account or you can just go directly and use your github or your LinkedIn or your sorry this is your GitHub your Google or your LinkedIn or your Facebook um, but we advise you use your Google your email so you click on create account then it signs up for you so once that is done you realize that the question that you are supposed to solve will appear here but if you have an account already it directly brings you here you don't need to sign up again you just have to log in or just come straight here so the challenge is saying project submission tutorial, but then we are going to name it project six or project seven or project one or project two, whatever it is, we are going to give the name. Then you see the success rate, 100%, the maximum score, 100, the difficulty is easy. Then you click on solve challenge. So once you get here, you read about the challenge. So ask the user for his or her name, then print out hello with the username, then you are welcome. So you take notes. So input format, the input format uh, contains a string. So the input format should contain a string. There are no constraints. And the output format should also contain a string. Now sample input. So the computer is going to uh, use a sample and the sample is Corbina. So if the computer puts in Corbina, this is the sample output the computer is expecting. Hello with a capital H. Hello. Then the name you it's inputted. You are welcome with no full stop. Just exactly this. If you write anything else other than this, you are going to get it wrong. So then explanation that the input corner was made and the program printed out for the sentence hello corner, you are welcome. Note that your input and output should match what you see. A little variation may yield an incorrect result. So, in simple terms, the program is telling us that it's ask the user for his or her name and print out what hello, the username, comma, you are welcome. There is no full stop. Okay. So, first I say what? Uh, ask the name. And I know most of you write inputs and would like to write something in there, like enter your name. Something like this. Then you print something like that. So, um, Hello. Now the expected output here is hello with a capital H, right? So you say hello. Then you are supposed to enter the person's name at this point. So the name. So you use then there is a comma. Then you say you are welcome. There is no full stop, so I ended there. There is no full stop, so I ended there. Okay. So once I'm done writing my program like this, I run it. So you come here, run code. Run code means that test the code for me. 
if you click submit it means it will submit and give you a score okay but then test the code for me so when you click run code what happens it processes it then it gives you with this red sign means that your output that you got is not the same as the computer's output now the computer is expected to see hello covenant you are welcome but here it says your output enter your name this part hello covenant you are welcome so even though you generated this part the, this part correctly but the enter your name is conflicting with the output because you put in enter your name here so going forward do not put any question inside the input function the computer already knows what to input because i've already told the computer what to input so do not put any question like um, enter a number a number no or enter the first digit or enter as whatever it is a list do not put in any question just make it empty okay the computer already knows what to input so just make it empty okay and now since we are printing it out your print your printout should follow the same format as what the computer wanted hello starts with a capital h and there is no full stop at the end if i told the computer to if i told the computer to put a full stop at the end the expectation is with a full stop you should also include a full stop so when you run this code you realize that um it says congratulations you passed the sample test so this the input the input that the computer put is what's called then your output is hello Corbina, you are welcome then the expected output is hello Corbina, you are welcome so your the expected output here matches your what your output and that's why it is correct but if there's a mismatch by any means it's going to be wrong even with a full stop in the output it's going to be wrong so don't be putting your own fancy words then after that some people will do like this and print thank you no when you run this it's going to say error or it's going to give you wrong because your this is your output with a thank you but then the expected output doesn't come with what a thank you so it should match the expected output so if you want to know the expected output the expected output is the same as what the sample output so look at how the sample output will come out then use that as your uh, expected output okay so the computer is, is telling you that i'm going to input this and i'm expecting this as the result okay just as i give you the illustrations so i'm going to give you this and i'm expecting this as the result anything apart from this is considered invalid so i delete it then i click on submit code because you can still run the code to test it so running code means you are testing it okay so processing this is correct okay now let me submit my code and see so yes submit code so once you submit the code it's calculated for you and tells you your score so your score is 100 percent. so my score is 100 percent by 100 percent i've been able to done it successfully there are other uh, test cases so the computer will run it against other test cases so sometimes it can be four or five test cases but for this example there's only one test case and we had it correct so test case zero was correct test case one two was correct and say status accepted now sometimes you see status uh not accepted not accepted means that at least one of the test cases was wrong but still it doesn't matter we are only focused on your score so you can score 70 you can score 90 but you still have not accepted because it will only be accepted when it is 100 percent but then it doesn't still matter what you're interested in your score okay so once you are done submitting you can go and look at the what the leaderboard okay when you click on the leaderboard it shows your score so this is somebody's submission okay which was at 5 58 90 that's uh, five hours after it was posted then this is my current submission exe inc okay so please and uh, please again we'll be asking for your emails these email names these are the email names we are going to be seeing and we'll be asking for them so make sure that before you send a google form you provide us with your email name we are no longer going to use the applicant code so provide us with your email name then we use that and you can see your score directly from here and if you feel like uh there's a cheat you can ask the computer and see how best you can do it better okay so you can also go back to the problem 
and submit again so you can retype it and submit again so you can say print well let me start so print um hello you are welcome okay i don't know why things are turning red okay so let me do something like this i want to submit a different solution but it's the same okay so let me run this code and see if I'm going to get it correct. Now my answer is still correct. So then I can submit. So you can make multiple submissions once you see that um, you have a better version of your code. And I still get my 100%. I think it's going to record your highest score. Okay. It's going to record your highest score. So you can keep on doing your submission. Okay. And we're going to put deadline on the code. And so that we uh, will not wait for forever. Okay. So this is how we are going to be submitting our new assignments. Thank you. I hope this is helpful for you guys. Bye.